Mr. Stetsky, seconded by Mr. Rankin, moves that uh, for the sorry moves for leave to introduce a bill entitled "An Act to Amend the Navigation Protection Act, Certain Lakes and Rivers in British Columbia." The motion is deemed adopted. The honourable member. Sure. Pleasure to rise today and present this bill, an act to amend the Navigation Protection Act, certain lakes and rivers in British Columbia. The Canadians know that water, along with, of course, the great people we have in Canada, really our greatest assets. Water was how we first uh, traveled around the country using rivers and lakes. Uh, water is one of the things that people around the world look at us with a great deal of envy. And so I'm very proud today to present this bill, which brings back into the Navigation Protection Act 12 lakes and 21 rivers from my riding of Kootenai, Columbia, which were excluded under the Conservatives' amendments to the uh, Act a number of years ago. Uh, some of the lakes that we're going to put back on include Columbia Lake, which is, of course, this ground, the source for the Great Columbia River system. Uh, 21 rivers, including the Flathead and the Kicking Horse Rivers. I really would like to see support from all members of this Parliament because we all know how important water is to being Canadian. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Right, right. Mr. Stetsky, seconded by Mr. Rankin, moves that the bill be now read the first time and be printed. This motion is deemed adopted. Have you had a push of first reading of this bill? When shall the bill be read a second time? at the next sitting of the House.